Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borek, and this is going to be the video on Bryce Harper. We believed he will win, and he did. The MVP, the MV3, is Bryce Harper. As also, of course, in the voting, Soto came in second, Tatis Jr. third, Brendan Crawford fourth, and Trey Turner fifth. But our man, the myth, the legend, Bryce Harper takes home the crown about a week after winning the best offensive player of the year, the great Hammer and Hank Aaron Award. If you haven't seen that interview, definitely check it out on YouTube. Bryce is such a student of the game, knows so much knowledge about history, and gives so much shout out to Hammer and Hank when he won that award about a week ago, again prior to the MVP. Well, Bryce Harper's not only the MVP in our heart, and off the field being so great with his family, like when he came here talking about how much he cared about not just the team atmosphere, but what the city was like, what the fans were like, and also obviously with the school system and all the stuff that affects his family and all that hubba bubba, hubba bubba was like. He's an MVP off the field, now he's an MVP on the field. He immediately, like Jim Salisbury and all other great writers in this city pointed out, immediately entrenched the fans in him when he started coming out and immediately doing the bow and this. I mean, who doesn't want to sit in right freaking field when you, wa when you watch a Phillies game and go to the Phillies game with how he plays? Obviously, those tend to be the most expensive seats. So if you're trying to, not, not overall, but in the outfield, they tend to be the most expensive seats. So if you're trying to be economical like me at times, you can't always sit in right field. But who the hell doesn't? want to sit in right field, because Bryce Harper is box office, Bryce Harper is that dude, and he deserves this MVP, hands down, he had three, his slash line was 309, 429, and 615, with 35 homers, his only problem, to have only 84 RBIs, and 141 was, he didn't have enough help, he had so many of the homers <clears throat> that were solo shots, where yes, Howard Reynolds did do a brilliant job on the BBWA award show, being able to point out how when guys were hot behind him, whether it was JT Real Muto or Andrew McCutcheon, he would lay down a bunt. And some people, some fans are like, oh, oh my God, why is Bryce Harper bunting? But it's because he's setting people up for success where they're hot. They get a big hit, either a home run double or triple even if it's somebody that JT that can skate on the bases a little bit. So, He's setting people up for success. That's why he's also an MVP. He mixes old school baseball and new school, and he even hinted at that in his presser when he said he's kind of a fan of the old school stats, too, when it comes to the um, batting average. I can't remember if that was in the one when he won the Hank Aaron or when he won the MVP last night because I've been so busy covering hockey and doing all these baseball videos for you guys that everything kind of gets mixed in. But Harper loves those old school numbers, loves being above the 300 batting average. And for the new stats, folks, he was best by far in weighted runs creating plus Ed slugging percentage on the season. He had an OPS that was absolutely ridiculous. This dude was just the man on the field this year, the main and sometimes only reason, other than Zach Wheeler, that the Phillies were able to stay where they were at, and you can throw the main man, Ranger Suarez, in that category if you want to as well. But those two were the main reasons. Obviously, Wheels coming in a close second in the Cy Young to Corbin Burns. And Bryce Harper getting the hardware with the MVP. Where This is the one that I really believed he would win. When it came to the Cy Young, I thought that was between Scherzer, Burnsy, and um, Wheeler. And it could have went <clears throat> to any of them. And then obviously the voters felt a little bit differently in the exact order there, but it is what it is with that one. This is an exciting moment for Philadelphia. He's the first guy to win since J-Roll, the man at shortstop that we love in the broadcast booth when he's there, won in 2007. Shoutouts, hats off to Bryce Harper as he's one of the guys that's only done a couple things since Bonds and Ruth, and I believe that number was the rated runs created plus because that takes into the degree runs created by the current ballparks plus the current era, so that's why that stat was created to take more of account of the current ballparks essentially and the current era in terms of 
be runs being created. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. It is happy land in Philadelphia. Now it is time to sign some free agents after we made some great management hires, bringing in Howie Kendrick, bringing in a nice guy that seems like a good whiz kid that is a 27-year-old as our assistant general manager behind Sam Fold and Dave Dombrowski, and of course bringing in Kevin Long and other people like Preston Manningly. So now it's time to grind and get to the free agency. But Bryce Harper wins the MVP. This is one of the most fun videos I've ever done since Bryce Harper was able to capture the reward and be our MV3. Peace out, everybody, and enjoy the offseason.